Wow, guys, we're about to react to a new video. Trump's lawyer's live feed was cut off after correcting these lies. So I need you guys to stick along to the back end of the video to see what I got to say about it. But right now, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, as always, let me know what to react to. We contest elections at the ballot box, not in the courts in this country. Uh, th that is true, but of course, uh, we've never had a, for had a former president or a presidential candidate facing the kind of charges that the president faced because of his own activities. And of course, the, the attorney general in Manhattan has nothing to do with the Department of Justice. Finally, what do you expect from the sentencing process? Uh, I vehemently disagree that the district attorney in New York was not politically motivated here, and I vehemently disagree that President Biden and his political allies aren't up to their necks in this prosecution. I think the fact there's that no Biden evidence of that, sir. sir there's no, there's no, I'm not going to let you can continue to say that. There's just zero evidence of that. Well, how about the DA fact that Manhattan Matthew Colangelo was, stand, was standing over Alvin Bragg's shoulder when, when he announced this verdict? I mean, Colangelo was the number three official in the Biden Department of Justice who suddenly disappears and shows up as an assistant district attorney right as Trump's case in, in New York starts to proceed. After you want to talk about political made, there, you, you want to talk about political coordination? This has nothing, to do, right this has nothing to do. No, it's not. This has nothing to do with President Biden. Do you want to answer the question about the sentencing process or not? I, 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 I completely disagree that this has nothing to do with President Biden. Uh, with respect to sentencing, as I said before, we're going to vigorously challenge this case on appeal. I don't think President Trump is going to end up being subject to any sentence whatsoever. And we look forward to getting this case into the, into the next court uh, and taking this again all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court, if necessary, to vindicate President Trump's rights. Thanks for your time this morning. Wow, guys, he is right. This is all politically motivated. I don't think a real investigation went on. I believe as soon as the case started, they already knew what was going to happen. They just pushed it out and pushed it out to try to make it look real. But I am extremely happy that his lawyer is going to fight and fight and move this up to Supreme Court if it has to go there. What do you guys think? What would happen when they move it up? And if you guys notice, as soon as Trump's lawyer picked up on what they were trying to do, they cut him off and they stopped him from speaking immediately. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.